Hi, I'm Tim and thanks for watching this video. Now, previously I've done some videos for Home Assistant on how to create a video doorbell pop-up on your Home Assistant dashboard for your RioLink video doorbell cameras. Well, we found an issue with that in that the video doorbell pop-up on the Home Assistant dashboard screen would only stay on for about 10 or 15 seconds before automatically disappearing. Well, in this video, we found a solution to that and I must give a big shout out to one of my subscribers at Peterson A95 for giving me the solution for this. So what we're going to be doing is creating the video doorbell pop up using a different method, but we'll also include the timer so that it stays on the screen for about 60 seconds. Of course, you can adjust the timer. So we'll get on the computer behind me right now and get the video started. Now, just before we get started, you'll need to make sure that you have Hacks installed, which is the Home Assistant Community Store. So if you haven't already got Hacks installed, then you won't be able to install the bubble card pop-up, which I show you in the instructions for this video. So if you haven't got Hacks installed already, then what you need to do is click on the link in the video description for this video and it will take you to my other video where I'll show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to install hacks and we'll get started with the uh, video doorbell pop-up right now. So what we're going to do first is we're going to create a helper. So to do this we're going to go to settings and then what we're going to do is go to devices and services. Then in devices and services, you will see that we've got the discovered device for the RioLink video doorbell. So if you've already discovered this device and added it, then you don't need to follow this step. But if you haven't already added it into your list of configured devices here, then all you need to do is click add for the discovered RioLink video doorbell. And then it will ask you for the password and username so in the username box type in the username that you use to access your video doorbell and then type in the password that you accessed your video doorbell with and then once you've done that click submit and then it will proceed to add the device to your list of detected and created devices so you will see we've got devices created and then the device name which i'm calling it dbl1 and then it's asking us for an area and it's also detected the rio link door chime so this is called chim1 so chim1 so what we're going to do is you can give it an area so you can allocate it to an area or a room however we're just going to click skip and finish then it will take you into the Rio link screen as you'll see. So all we need to do is go back with the back arrow and you'll now see that it's been added here into the list of devices along with our other devices, Bluetooth hacks, SM Lite and so on. So what we need to do to add the helper at the top, we'll select helpers and then what we're going to do is click on create helper. Then in the create helper pop-up window, what we're going to do is search for toggle so type in toggle and you will see that it's bringing the search result up as toggle with the little button against it so select it so what we're going to do is give the create toggle name so we'll call this doorbell video so in the icon box what we're going to do is type in doorbell and you will see we get some search results for MDI doorbell and also MDI doorbell video. So what we're going to do is select MDI doorbell video. So you should have the name of doorbell video and then in the icon should be MDI colon doorbell hyphen video. So once you've got those, click create and that's created the helper. So now what we're going to do is create the automations. So to do this, go to settings, the left side, and then we're going to select automations and scenes. So we're straight into the automations tab here at the top. So what we're going to do is in the bottom right corner, we're going to click on create automation. Then with the pop-up window for create automation, we're going to select 
create new automation and then it takes us into the new automation screen so under the section where it says when we're going to select add trigger then what we're going to do with the pop-up window is select device and then in the device line where it says select a device we're going to search for dbl1 so you'll see we've got dbl1 however your doorbell name will probably be different so what you need to do is just search for the name of your doorbell so it could be doorbell or rio link or whatever so once you've selected that you should see we've got the rio link logo and we've got the name of our doorbell and then rio link here at the right hand side so select it and then what we're going to do is in the trigger box that's just appeared we're going to click the button to bring the drop down list and what we're going to do is select doorbell visitor so if we scroll down you'll see we've got doorbell as in dbl1 visitor turned on so what we're going to do is select visitor turned on and then in the duration we're going to leave this as blank so then we're going to go down to the section for then do which is here and we're going to select the add action button then in the search action box we're going to start typing ball b o l and what we're going to do is select input boolean turn on then what we're going to do is click on the entity button so select choose entity which is the green colored button here and what we're going to do is select doorbell video so you'll see we've got doorbell video and it says input boolean next to it so select doorbell video and then what we're going to do is scroll down to the bottom and click on save so then what we're going to do with the save pop-up window is we're going to say doorbell on so the name should be doorbell on and then click on the save button in the pop-up window then what we're going to do is go back one step with the arrow and we're going to create a second automation so again click on create automation create new automation and then in the when section here we're going to click again add trigger and then what we're going to do is click on device and then in the device line we're going to search for doorbell so in my case again it's dbl1 however yours will just be doorbell or rio link so just select your doorbell and then in the trigger we're going to click in this line and we're going to look for and select dbl or doorbell visitor turned off so scroll down and you'll see we've got dbl1 visitor turned off so in this case we're selecting dbl1 visitor turned off in the duration box under the ss which is seconds we're going to type in 48 what this means is that the doorbell pop-up will stay on screen for about 60 seconds now you might be thinking why we type in 48 and not 60 well the default anyway is about 12 seconds i've found so what you need to do is just deduct 12 seconds from the total time so in this case it's 48 so if we add 12 seconds onto that it will make it 60 seconds which means the doorbell pop-up will stay on screen for about 60 seconds so of course you can alter this duration to whatever you feel is necessary but in this case we're going to set it at 48 so that the doorbell pop-up with 12 seconds added onto that stays on screen for about 60 seconds so then what we're going to do is in the then do section at the bottom we're going to click add action now in the search action we're going to type in input boolean and as you'll see we've got some search results and what we're going to do is select input boolean turn off then once we've selected input boolean turned off we're going to select choose entity so click on the choose entity button and then we're going to select doorbell video from the pop-up search results so once you've got input boolean turn off on doorbell video you can then click save and then again in the save pop-up window box we'll give it a name so it will be doorbell off and click save and then what we'll do is click on the back arrow button and you'll now see that we've got two automations one for doorbell off and one for doorbell on 
Now what we're going to do now that we've created the automations is we're going to create the pop-up for the dashboard. So to do this, what we're going to do is click on overview at the left hand side. And then in the top right corner, we're going to select the pen icon, which is for edit dashboard. Then with the edit dashboard screen, you'll see we've got overview, add badge, done and add card in the bottom right corner. What we're going to do is select add card. Then in the search box where we've got the cards that popped up on screen here, we're going to search for vertical stack. So start typing in vertical and as you will see, we've got vertical stack. So click on vertical stack and then in the search cards box here, we're going to click in there and we're going to type in bubble card. So start typing in bubble and you'll see we get the search result for bubble card. So select bubble card. Then in the card type line, we're going to click in there and we're going to select from the search results that drop down, we're going to select pop up. Then what we're going to do is in the hash line, you'll see we've got a hash and then pop up name. We're going to remove pop up name. And what we're going to do is give it another name. So it should be hash or pound and then the name, for example, doorbell. And then once you've done that, you need to click on the update hash button. And then after you've done that, what we're going to do is select the pop-up trigger. So we'll click the arrow in the pop-up trigger line here, and then we'll scroll down the screen a little bit so that the pop-up trigger box fully appears. And what we're going to do is select add condition. And then from the drop down list, we're going to select entity state. Then in the entity and select an entity search box, what we're going to do is search for doorbell. So start typing in doorbell, scroll down until you see doorbell video with input boolean next to it. So you need to select doorbell video and then input boolean. So select this and then what we're going to do is where the state is equal to, we're going to leave that as it is. But in the state box next to it, we're going to select on. So pull the drop down list and select on. So it should be state is equal to and then the state should be on. Then we're going to scroll back to the top and then we're going to click the plus or add button here. Then in the search cards box, what we're going to do is search for picture entity. So type in picture entity and you should be presented with picture entity and the picture of a bed. So click on picture entity and then in the entity line where it will say something like floodlight or cam one or something similar to that, you need to click in that line and click the X button to remove it. Then you will see we get entity, select an entity. So click in the ed, select an entity line again. And then what we're going to do is type in the name of our doorbell and you will see we get a number of search results. So what we're looking for is doorbell affluent. So here you will see we've got DBL1, which is the name of my video doorbell. Yours, as I've said, will be different so it should say doorbell or video doorbell or rear link but what you need to do is make sure you select the line that says fluent and you will then be presented with your video doorbell screen here in this window so now what you need to do is you need to click the save button at the bottom of the pop-up window here then once you've clicked save you'll be taken to your edit dashboard screen as you'll see here and then what we need to do is click on done at the top right corner. Then you'll be taken back to your original overview dashboard, as you'll see here. That completes adding a video doorbell pop up, which will now pop up the video on the screen and stay on screen for about 60 seconds. Now, as a bonus tip, if you're using Home Assistant Kiosk, then Keep watching this video now and I'll show you a clip from my previous video where it shows you how to wake up your home assistant kiosk screen should your kiosk screen have gone blank. So to do this, what we need to do is go to settings at the left hand side and then select automations and scenes. So once you've selected automations and scenes, as you'll see, we have done here it takes you into the automations that you've already created. Now what we need to do is create a new automation. So to do this, in the bottom right corner, click Create Automation.
then what we're going to be doing with the pop-up box is select create new automation and then you will get new automation with when and if and then do in the when section you need to select the add trigger so click add trigger then in the add trigger search box what we need to do is select entity so click on entity and then in the second entity pop-up screen here you will see we've got numeric state and state what you need to do is select state so it's the one with the triangle next to it then in the when option we've got entity and then select entity so click in the select an entity box and start typing visitor and you will see we've got visitor and the name of our doorbell so select this and you should see it's got an icon with a dot in it so click on this and you'll now see we've got entity visitor and then it's doorbell so the dbl one or the name of your doorbell and then what we're going to do is in the two box which is optional click the arrow and then select on and then once you've got on in the two box you need to scroll down and select under then do select add action then in the pop-up box you'll see we've got device button camera image light and so on so what we're going to be doing is selecting device and then scroll down your screen a little and then you should see under then do we've got device action so click in the device line and then what we're going to be doing is searching for the name of our home assistant kiosk tablet so in my case it's tab one so you'll see we've now got device tab one so we'll select this and then in the action box underneath the device and tab one we've got turn off tab one screensaver so what we're going to be doing click the arrow and change this selection to turn on tab one screen so it should be near the top you've got turn on tab one screensaver but we don't want that the selection we want is turn on tab one screen or in your case it will be turn on and then the name of your tablet and then screen so select this and then all we need to do is click save in the bottom right corner and then in the save pop-up window it will say we've got a name of new automation so in this case we'll rename it and call it turn on kiosk screen and then click save in that pop-up window and then we've now got the automation saved so to go back to the list of automations click the left arrow at the top here and you'll now see that we've got turn on kiosk screen so what it will do is now wake up your kiosk screen whenever somebody rings your doorbell and then the video doorbell pop-up will appear on your kiosk screen so that'll do it for this video thanks for watching hope you found this video useful in our new improved version of our rio link video doorbell pop-up for our home assistant screen i'll be back again soon with more videos so bye for now